examples of the food. Okay, so good evening and welcome to this evening's Sit Fit. Um, and welcome to our uh, new members that have joined us this evening. So, um, and I hope you enjoy it. So, what we're going to do this evening is we are going to, we're going to do a warm up, get ourselves warmed up, and then we've got a little bit of a conditioning session where we are just using our legs and our arms and we're going to do some movement patterns, but we're going to do some marching to bring that heart rate up, and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. And then we're going to do the band, we're going to do a band um, workout. Um, and, but if you haven't got a band, then you can just do the arm patterns and the leg patterns just again. But we're going to incorporate into that a, a, a chunk of core. So the tummy muscles, we're going to do a little workout specifically for the tummy muscles as well. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully you are going to enjoy this evening. I hope so. Um, we're going to get started. So let's put on some warm up music and we're going to get sat in that chair. Um, okay, so hopefully you can hear that. That sounds much better. Gone totally wrong with my mic. Okay, so we're going to sit upright in that chair. So we are going to get our feet planted firmly on the floor. So if you need to come forward in your chair a little bit, do. But now the feet planted firmly on the floor. And we're just going to roll those shoulders back. And this is a little move that we do every week. We're going to roll them back again. And then we're going to roll one more time. And then we're just going to let them drop. So what we've got here is this nice neutral alignment where our head, our, um, our neck, our spine are all stacked on top of each other. And this is where we need to remind ourselves to come back to. If we slouch forward, sideways, back, you know, try and bring yourself back into that nice neutral alignment because that's going to really, really help. So we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to just start by bringing that heel forward. So just bring the heel forward. If you haven't muted yourself, then please can you. That just helps with make sure we don't get any interference. So we're just bringing that heel, heel forward. So we're not bringing any arms in yet. We're gonna bring those hands up to your shoulders. So we're gonna get ready. So we're nice and slow and controlled to start with. Here we go, push forward. So when that heel comes forward, those hands come forward as well. Good. Excellent. Keep going. Just push forward. And we're going to change those hands so they go up. Keep that heel forward. So we're going to just press those hands above our head. So we just mobilise the shoulders, the elbows. And of course, warming up the muscles. So we're going to keep the hands going up. But this time, we're going to change the heel to a toe point. So you're taking that toe forward. So you're stretching forward with that leg. Okay. Give me two more. And one, and we're going to drop those hands down. Just keep pointing that toe. Good, okay. So from this forward motion with our leg, we're going to start to take the leg out, left and right. So here we go. So left, right, sorry, and left. So we're just opening up those thighs. Nice little stretch on that inner thigh. But again, just maneuvering that hip joint. Take that leg out to where it's comfortable for you. Bring those hands up to your shoulders. And as that leg goes out, the hands are going to go out at the same time. So out, back in, out we go. Fantastic. Again, just working through the back, the shoulders, the chest. Perfect, keep going. Mm 
working through that lateral movement, moving out to the side, drop those hands, keep that leg going out. Okay, we're going to take that leg up. So we're going back to that forward position with that leg. So give me two more. And one. This time, right leg. Leg extension comes up. Bring that leg up, toes pointing up to the ceiling. Hands down by your side. Push back. So we're going opposite direction. Push back with those hands. Foot comes up, hands going back. Perfect. Keep that toe pointing upwards. Good. Okay, three more. Two more. One more. This time hands come up to the air. We're pulling down. We're keeping that leg coming up in that same direction. This time we're bringing those arms down. Push down. Perfect. Okay, three more. Two more. Back to those heel taps. No hands. Just tap that heel forward. Good, okay. So we're just going to run through those again. Push forward. Chest press. So heels coming forward, we're pressing forward with those hands. We're going to go to a toe point, so the toe comes forward, hands are going up in the air. One more, and off we go. So up, toes pointing forward. Stretch up nice and tall now, because we really are feeling much warmer. Okay, lateral leg movement. We're taking that leg out, right and left. Two, and one. Hands come out at the same time. So out and in. Okay, well done. Okay, lateral, um, sorry, leg extension. That's the last one. So two. And one. Hands push back, leg comes up. Toes pointing up to the ceiling. Fantastic. And four. And three. And two. And one. Bring those hands above your head, pull down. Okay, hopefully you're feeling nice and warm now. We took those elbows. Shoulders, knees, hips, jumping through a good range of motion. Excellent. Okay. Two more. And one more. Okay, let's just gently march those feet out. Okay, so we're going to do a 12 minute little set now. So it's 40 seconds for each exercise, and then 20 seconds. You can rest or you're going to march. You can tap your toes. You can really go for it. Use your arms, use your legs. Try to bring that heart rate up as much as you possibly can. Entirely up to you. Okay. I'm going to change the, the, mood, the music. So if you need to grab a drink, do. Okay, we've got a bit of cardio conditioning this evening. Something a little bit jazzy. A little bit disco-y. Okay. So, you work at your own pace. Make sure you are comfortable in your chair. Make sure that you're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to do a combination of all the exercises that we've done in the warm-up. We'll be doing some of those again but for 40 seconds. Now, if you feel that you can't maintain 40 seconds, then you can stop at any time. Entirely up to you. Okay, I'm going to tell you your first one. So we're going to do that leg raise. Leg raise, chest press. 
Okay, and when we get to about halfway, we're going to take that arms up. So we're going to just swap and change it around a little bit. Off we go. So, leg raise, chest press. Push forward. Toe comes up. Good, keep going. Really push those hands forward. One more, now take those hands up. Keep that leg going where it is. Nice extension to that leg if you can. But if you're just taking that leg off the floor, that's all that matters. Okay, we're going to one more. We're coming up to that march. Okay, so march it out. You can really power those arms and legs, or you can do a little tap. Or you can take a complete rest. If I'm honest, I'd really like you to do a little tap. Keep those legs moving. But you choose which level. Okay, heel comes down. So take that heel forward. Okay, we're up in the air again. Shoulder press. Push up. Okay, two more. One more. This time, hands out to the sides. You're just pushing them out. So, so good push out from the shoulder. Hands coming backwards and forwards to the shoulder. That heel is coming forward. Good. Keep going. We've got about two more. One more and march out. March or tap those toes. Take a rest if you need to. Okay, we're going for a knee raise, lateral fall down. Okay, hands are coming up and the knee comes up. Arms are coming down. So bring that knee up as much as you can. Fantastic, keep going. Really well done. Keep going. Okay. We're going to keep those arms coming down. We're not going to change it out. Good. We've got about two more. <laughs> One more and march it out. 20 seconds. Let's march. Okay. We're going to take, we've got lateral leg, lateral arms. So bring those hands up. As one arm comes out, the other arm goes out with it. So same leg, same arm. Really try to push that shoulder so it's coming backwards. Feel a nice stretch in that chest. And we're working through that shoulder. Keep that bottom as still as you can on that chair. Hips facing forward. We're not swinging the body round. Both arms together now. Good, keep going. Four, two and one. March it out. March it out, cap those toes. Fantastic, keep going. Just remember, you can rest whenever you're ready. That's the beauty of working out at home. Okay, arms to the corner. I want you to think corner. Same arm, same leg. Up to the corner of the room. Push up with that hand. Extend that leg out. Always looking up to the corner. We're not coming forward, not coming out to the side or down. And we're going to go all the way. Good, okay. Nearly there. One more and march. March it out. Okay, we're going to do a Superman move. So it's literally, we need to look like Superman. 
So we're going to come a little pinch forward at the waist, forward with that hand. So forward, and here we go. So all in the hands. So you lean it forward. Bring that toe forward as well if you can. Little hinge. The hinge at the waist is really good for our core muscles, our tummy. Good. Keep going. Taking that toe forward as well. We are nearly there. One more. And march. So we know that when we march in between, if we can get enough motion going, that we can really press that heart rate up, which could do a lot of good for our stamina, building the strength in our heart as well. Okay, we're going to do a jumping jack. So both arms come wide, hands come up to the top. So we all know what a jumping jack is if we were on the floor. This is a seated jumping jack. So if you are struggling to get your hands all the way to the top, you can take them here to the side. You can also do one leg at a time. So at any time you can come down to this level, or you can try and keep yourself Good. Okay, and march. We are, we have got that, we've got four, four minutes, that's all we've got. Keep going. Let's start getting those legs into a side tap. Tap that leg out. Hands to your shoulder and out. Now, if you can go at the pace that I'm taking you through, that's good. Or you can do a um, single time. So you've got two different variations. This is single time. Or you can take it up a bit and just do it a little bit quicker. Entirely up to you. That's the beauty again. Like with any exercise, you can do it, walk it as much out. We can adapt, and that's the important thing, that we can adapt the exercises to suit ourselves. Okay, we're going to give our arms a little break. Uh, sorry, our legs a little break. Keep still. Up we go to the corner. Down we go. So up. I'm going left to right. Right down and left. Reach high. Left down. Up we come. So we're doing a nice stretch and a twist. Little side bend, really. Working through the side of that body. Up we go. And down. Let's swap sides. Up we go to the other corner. And down. Up. And down. Excellent. And one more up. And down. And let's march it out. Okay. We've got a leg raise coming up. We're going to take those hands, pull it down. So bring those arms down, toes coming up. Good. Okay. We're going to swap those hands. One more, and this time they're going to push back. As that toe comes up, push back with those hands. Good. Excellent, guys. Keep going. And let's march it out. One more to go. Skip and row. With no skip and row. So we bounce those toes. 
and we wind those arms. So just join me whenever you're ready. Bounce those toes. Now, you need to really work your core muscles. Pull those puppy muscles in. And just pretend you've got a skipping rope. Bounce those toes up and down. Perfect, keep going. I'm going to take this down to the final 10 seconds and we're, here we go, let's march. We'll start that march now. Excellent. March it out and then let's tap out to the side. Bring those arms down. There you have it. 12 exercises, 12 minutes. Hope you're feeling okay. Just bring those legs down. Really good, okay. Just march those legs out. And we are there. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Okay. I'm going to just pop that out of the way because that's going to bring the feeling in a minute. Um, okay, let's change that music again. Just take a little rest, take a drink. I'm going to change that and we are going. So we're going to do a um, nice slow and controlled, which we normally do with the band anyway. Um, we're going to use our band. We're going to do some upper body, well, I think we're going to start with lower body, then some upper body, and then we're going to move into core and do some tummy exercises. Um, and then once we've finished this section, we'll do a few little stretches before we finish, so don't run away. Um, but happy bands now, and let's just change. So if these are about 30 seconds. The alarm going off, it's just annoying. Okay, so yeah, these are 30 seconds of an exercise. We have about 10 seconds in between. So we're going to start with the band around the legs, pull it in nice and tight. We're just going to knee raise. So with no band, just bring that knee up. You can bring in some arms if you want to as well. You just want to make it a little bit more difficult. So as the knee comes up, you could pull those arms down. Or you can push those arms forward. We're going to concentrate pushing up that leg into that band. Ten seconds left. Three, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. We're going to do lateral movement on that leg. So we're going to push that leg out into the band. Remember to check your posture, yeah. make sure you sat nice and upright. Out we go. Push into that band. Good. So again, we're keeping those hips facing forward. We're not moving. We're just pushing into that band. Three, four, three, two, one. Okay. Knee raise, leg goes out. So we're going to do one on the right, one on the left. So we're going to alternate those. So again, come up and out. Out we go. Up and out we go. Up. Really push into that band to so really work on that resistance. Out we go. We're going to take that band off. We're going to take the band under the right foot. We're going to bring on the resistance. We're going to bring that leg up, the knee up. We're going to push down, push into the band. So without the band, you can still do this exercise because you could lean back in your chair a little bit and then you can have your foot up and you can just push that foot forward. Okay. 
what we're doing with the band is we're really pushing against the band. Good, okay, sit upright in that chair. We're going to bring that foot up, so we're going to extend that leg. And hover that foot over the floor. So up the cup, point that toe down. And up. So we're really pushing that foot into that band. So we're letting that band help us to work, we're not just bringing that leg up on our own. If you again with no band, just bring that foot up we come and down. We're going to stay with the right foot and we're just going to do a, a bit of hip mobility. So we're going to bring that band up or the leg up. In front, extend it. And out we go. And in. Again, without the band, you can have your leg up and you could move it slightly. I must admit the band has helped with this exercise. Or you could just go back to a leg extension, just bringing that leg up. Good, okay, let's swap feet. So we are going to start where we did before. So we're going to bring that leg up. And we're going to really push down into that band. So down we go, and up, and down, up we come. Really push down into that band. Leg extension, so we're going to bring that toe up. Up it comes. Really good, push into that band. And up, and down. Send that foot up. Take a 10 second breath. Good, okay. Bring that leg up. We take that leg out. So we're just laterally moving that leg. And out we go. And in. Perfect, keep going. Just do as many repetitions as you can. Well done. Take a 10 second breath. In four, three, two, one. Bring that other leg down. We're going to take the band up. And we're coming up to the top of the body. So we're going to have the band out in front. We pull the band back to our chest, pull that band apart, and forward. So again, without the band, you can have your upper hands forward, and just bring those elbows back, so you can feel your shoulder blades moving backwards. And back we go. Take a 10 second breath. In four, three, two, Good, okay. Arms out in front. So we're going to have a bit of width, a bit of space between the hands. We're going to pull that band down. So out we go. And what you could do is we could do this exercise if you haven't got a band. And if we've got the band, we're just pushing that band out. Good, okay. Hands are coming above our head this time. 
that. And we're going to pull on that band and bring it down to our chest. Sit up nice and tall. Make sure we're not slumping. Keep that chin up. Okay, just give those shoulders a little roll. We're going back up again with those hands, and this time we're going to pull that band behind our head. And down we come, and up. Keep that head, don't let that hand head drop forward. We need to really take those shoulders back. If we struggle with that, then we get that band to our head. And back we go. Take a 10 second breath. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. We're going to tuck those elbows in. We're going to have the band with a very small gap between the hands. Tuck the elbows in and we're going to just pulse. Pulse. Take that band out. A little pushes out. So we're working the tricep muscle, this is the muscle at the back of the arm. Just push. Fantastic, keep going. Take a 10 second breath. Three, four, three, two, and one. one. Well done. Okay, let's have that band under both feet. We're going to do a bicep curl first, so we rock that band round, and we come up to the shoulder with one hand. So again, no band, you can just copy the pattern, and so we just bicep curl. where it is, turn those hands round, upright row, just pulling that band up to the shoulder, up we go, okay, we're gonna, I'm going to keep this music going, we're going to stay with that, it's 30-10, we're just going to do some core exercises next. So we're going to work the tummy muscles. You don't need your band. Fantastic. You can put that band aside. Okay. We're going to lean back in that chair. We're going to bring those feet out. We're going to put the hands across our chest. And we're going to come up to sitting. Back down we go. And up. So we're not coming forward, we're just coming up to sitting upright. So our legs out in front. Good, okay, well done. Stay back in that chair, bring those legs in. And come up on your toes. So we kind of want to be on tiptoes. And as we come forward, we just lift the foot off the ground. And we're going to alternate the foot coming up and down and up. Perfect. Keep going. Excellent, okay. We're staying back, bring those legs back out so your heels are forward. As we come up this time, we're going to bring the leg up at the same time. So up we come, and down. Up we come. 
So the key here is to try and come backwards in that chair, to lean back as much as you can without compromising your back. And if you feel like this is um, aggravating your back, then maybe have a little less space, sit a little bit more upright. But one of the important things is to really pull on those tummy muscles. Right, we want to sit up nice and tall and we want to bring those hands to the temple. So yeah, so just squeeze those tummy muscles, just twist right and forward. Twist left and forward we come. Right and go. Fantastic, keep going. Take a 10 second rest. In four, two, and one. Okay, we're going to go back in that chair again. Exercise one. In four. And we're going to just come up to a nice sitting position, legs out, and up we come. Back down we go. Up we come. And down. Good, okay. This time as you come up, bring that leg up. So leg comes up and down. The leg comes up, back down we go. Good. Come sit back up right again, bring those legs right in. This time, hands across your chest. We're going to come forward and back to upright position. So keep that chin up, don't drop that head down. Back we go. Take a 10 second rest. In four, Good. three, two, one. Okay, we're going to stay in this position. This time, as we come forward, that knee comes up. We just bring the knee up. And down. We just hinge forward at the waist. Bring that knee up towards us. Try to keep that neck nice and strong. Keep that chin up. Good, okay. We are going to have those hands back at our temple. Exercise. And this time, when the knee comes up, we're going to twist the body as well. So up and down. So knee comes up, we twist around. If we can, we're getting our knee and our elbows in the right direction. Okay, just give those a little um, shoulders a little roll. We've got one left to do. This time we are going to side bend. So keep, we're going to side bend to the right. Right we go. So we're taking that arm so it runs kind of down the side of our thigh. Do 30 seconds on this side, and then we're going to turn the other way. Okay, and we're going over to the left. This is your last one, and then we're going to do some stretching. And down. Apologies that we're going to run slightly over due to my messing around getting the battery sorted. Do some stretching before we go. Take a ten second rest. In four, three, two, and 
one. And you are there. Well done. Okay, give those shoulders a little roll. So just roll them back and forth. And let them go. Get themselves nice and realigned. Okay, I'm going to change the music while we, and then we're going to have a little cool down. Okay, hopefully, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, okay, so stay in that nice upright position. We're going to just stretch that neck to start with. So I want us to just keep our hands on our thighs. We're just going to look over our shoulder and just have a nice stretch through the back of the neck. And let's come forward. Round we go. And forward we come. Let's take our ear down to our shoulder. So keep the shoulders nicely aligned. We're dropping the ear down towards the shoulder. We're not bringing the shoulder up to the ear. Head comes back up, and let's go the other way. Okay. So we're going to take that arm, so come bring your neck back up. We're going to take that arm across the body, and then pull in that elbow. So we're really just pulling that arm in towards our body. And then change direction. Okay, catch then the ha those hands in front, push forward, drop your head down so you're looking through your, your arms down towards the floor. And then we're going to push those hands back. Really just push back, so we push those shoulder blades back. Remember to keep that chin up, looking forward. Fantastic, okay, bring. So we're gonna to go to the right, one hand on your thigh, one on the chair, and then we're just gonna twist that body, looking over that shoulder. Go the other way, so gently come round, back over that shoulder. Brilliant, and then let's come forward again. We're going to bring that leg out in front, right leg forward. So you're on your heel, your toe is pointing upwards, you might need to scooch forward on the chair so you're forward. Hands come out in front, so you're going to push Push forward, not down or up, literally push forward. So you're leaning forward at the same time. What I want you to do is feel a nice stretch all the way up the back of the legs into the glute. Hold it there, let's come back in. Push that leg out again, push forward. Don't drop that head down, you want to keep looking up, chin up. And then come back to sit in position as well. We are going to either, you've got two choices, you can take, we're going to take that foot back, so if you've got a gap under your chair, you can just drop that knee down, or you can come to the side of your chair and drop the knee. So you've really got a your knee is heading down towards the floor so that you get a stretch on this muscle here, the quadricep muscle, which is at the front of the thigh. Okay, 
Great, okay, let's change round, drop that leg down again, drop that knee down. Perfect. Okay, we've got one stretch left. Okay, then let's just take the feet about the width of the chair. And we're going to just run our hands down our legs. So you take, you go to the most comfortable place. Keep that chin up, looking forward. Get those hands to the floor if you can. To your ankles, your shins, your knees. But keep that chin up. And where you're feeling that stretch is on that inner thigh. Here. This is where you want to feel the stretch. Try not to tip forward. Keep that chin up. Don't drop that head down so that the blood rushes into your head. Okay, so we're going to come up just gently back up, run those hands back up your legs, bring yourself back up to sitting, feet apart and firmly on the floor, and we are looking up. We're going to take three nice big breaths in, one after the other, blow out. So take those arms up, big breath in, through the nose, and blow it out through the mouth. Let's do another one. And out. One more. And out we go. Well done. Okay, give yourselves a little clap. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, anyway, same, same time, same place here next week. So I'm just going to turn the video off. Let's just turn the recording off. Don't run away.